Hey you guys, slightly sick, but okay, editing Jenny here. Um, just a heads up, this video is quite long because I found so much good stuff this past week. So um, definitely grab a drink, get a snack, blanket, get cozy on the couch or in your bed. It's gonna be a long but really good one, so enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. Um, my videos mostly consist of like Halloween or witchy things, um, vegan food taste tests, cat lady box unboxings, crafting with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chat. So shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If I seem a little low energy today, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit tired, a little bit under the weather, but I'm all good. Not wearing any makeup because it's also like 90 degrees and I'm not about to sweat that off today. Oh, if I didn't say it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also make sure and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I put out a new video. And if you would give me a big thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you see our little skeleton friend hanging in the way, this is new. I got this at, at home. This is Oliver. Say hello, Oliver. Hi there. Please stop pulling on me. <laughs> um, he's gonna be with us throughout our journey. Also, it's just easier for me to identify my car if I have a fun little thing because um, my car looks like everybody else's. So, um, I thought he was a cute little addition to our hunting trips. Today, I am going to be heading to um, Home Goods and TJ Maxx, at least one location, if not two of those. Do the same rounds we've been doing. We'll just see how I feel, see how the temps go. <laughs> if it gets too hot, I'm heading home. I'm sorry, because <laughs> I just, I can't bear it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see uh, if we find any, any new Halloween goodies today. All right, let's go everyone. All right, everyone, before I go over what I saw at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, I just want to show you something. I just called the Bath & Body Works. It's right here next to it. And they happen to have the Halloween Wallflower. I'm really excited about this one. Um, this one, it does light up little bats. So I'll try and show a photo, maybe a little video here of it lit up in my room. I'm going to put it in my bedroom because I have all sorts of like black cats and bat stuff on the wall. <laughs> so I think it'll be super cute. Very excited to get my hands on that. They don't have the crystal ball yet, but I'm going to try another location. We'll, we'll see. Um, but let's get going. Um, so at first I went into um, Home Goods. The same small pillows as before, nothing new there. Um, they had this um, gold pumpkin or pumpkin, like jack o' lantern. Um, they also had soap containers that had spider webs on them. They look like they were plastic though, so they're probably not like great quality. I wouldn't something I, you know, pick to keep out forever. They also had a lot of the plates were still the same. It's some more like the little uh, porcelain houses. There was one that was a tree. Um, had one, I'm trying to think what else they had of those. The hand towels were all the same, nothing new there. They did have um, some of the aprons. They were ones they had last year, but they're super cute. The orange and white stripe one that says Hocus Pocus. Um, I got that last year. I absolutely love it. It's really nice quality. So if it's something you're interested in or thinking about, definitely check those out. What else? I honestly don't know if we saw much more. When I went to TJ Maxx next door, they did not have much either. I will say the wine glasses that I got last time were all gone. Um, they still have the Nightmare Before Christmas glasses. They had um, these mats. It looked like they were probably bath mats or just indoor rugs. They have one that was a ghost. And they also had one that was, sorry, this lighting is really off, but you know, is what it is. <laughs> they also had um, this one that looked like the shape of a bat, but it had other creatures on it. So it wasn't like actually a bat, but it was a fun shape. I liked that. All the pillows were the same. They did get the ghost rug that we saw the other day at Marshall's. So, um, not a ton of new stuff there. 
sadly enough. But you know, it's okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna head to the other location of Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshall, and see if they have anything. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so TJ Maxx had um, some new stuff. I will say the little pillows I showed you guys last time at this location, all those little mini ones, they're all gone. There's literally one left and I might have purchased it. <laughs> it was the witch, um, or the big orange moon with the haunted house and the witch silhouette. Um, at first I thought those were way too small and I didn't really see a purpose for it, but um, I realized I've actually been needing a lumbar pillow for my, um, for my desk chair. So I got it for that. Then as far as blankets, um, they only had a couple. There were some of the Charlie Brown Great Pumpkin ones. There was also this um, ghost. It looked like it had like, it was almost like it was a recycled Valentine's one, but it had like two ghosts and with little pink hearts and then it says like, you're my boo. So it's like a cutesy ghost Halloween Valentine's <laughs> combination I guess but um, other than that I did not see any of the other Halloween ones um, I did get the great pumpkin blanket because if you've seen my previous videos you know I love Charlie Brown and the great pumpkin so I'll show a video here's what it looks like probably like on the couch or chair or bed or something it is pretty massive looking at the dimensions it's a pretty large blanket it's not Sherpa line which is sad but for a really big cozy blanket this has a print that like I absolutely adore I'm very excited about it um, as far as the dishes so many of the dishes that were there previously sold um, they did move some to a different location so they kind of separated them out but still some of the designs were completely gone they have some new dish towels in um, so there's a couple different varieties of all of those I took some they were <laughs> They had it on the cart they were getting ready to put it out so i just went ahead and took some video of that the pot holders and everything they had were still the same i know there were some different pumpkins there were some canisters like um these clear jars that said one said like trick-or-treat and the other i think had like a jack-o-lantern face on it those were kind of cute um what else if there's anything else again i'll just keep rolling footage here but yeah, I mean, not a ton, and I am, I gotta say, I'm really surprised how quickly some of the things I saw even, like, four days ago is selling out. So, y'all, everybody's getting crazy about Halloween now. I mean, we can love it, but this insanity of, like, having to jump on it is just, just giving, it's giving me anxiety about stuff. You don't have an arrow, lady. Lady, trying to turn, she don't have an arrow. Come on now. Um, so then I also went to TJ Maxx and they had, um, again, not much there as well. I think if I even took video of anything, I know they had some, um, these pumpkins, the glass pumpkins, which are more like fallish, but there was this one that was like this light pink iridescent that had this twisty little bendy um, kind of knob on it and it lights up. Um, I couldn't light it up because it didn't have batteries in it, but that was so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yes, thank you. Um, that was so pretty. Um, honestly, like if you're doing like maybe a, like a witch theme or like any sort of like fantasy kind of theme, um, that would be such a beautiful piece to put in there. So definitely keep an eye on those. There was a pink one and a green one. I mean, they had some other ones too, but those were the two that I was really drawn to. So absolutely gorgeous. Um, there was a, we found a skull blanket. It was more like a, just a cottony linen-y kind of material. It wasn't a Sherpa lined or, or super fuzzy or anything. It matches the skull pillows we've seen before as far as print. Pretty sure that was it, so not a ton of stuff. Um, I'm actually at 
the mall. I'm going to call this Bath and Body Works and see if they have the crystal ball wallflower. If they don't, then I'm going to be done for the day and we'll just pick off um, probably on Friday. I'll, I'll get to go into a couple places there. So I'll let you know whether they have it or not and what I'm going to do. Okay, so I called. No crystal ball. They do just still have the sugar skull the chihuahua and the um haunted house so i'll be checking back with that one but otherwise i'll just see you guys on friday good morning everyone it is friday july 30th i believe it'll be on the screen today we are going to go to um to do joann's marshall's michael's maybe big lots although i'm looking on the website it looks like there's only like maybe three items in at my particular store. So I think I might wait like another week or so before I go to them just so I can maybe get a little bit more stock. But I thought we would look at Joanne, see if there's more than the last time I went. Um, I also just want to look at some, some jewelry stuff because they have beads on sale and I need to stock up. Um, so yeah, let's uh, head to all three of those. Um, oh, also I want to show you my necklace. I'll show you my necklace once we get parked because I'm not I'm not doing that while driving because that is not safe. <laughs> so I'll see you guys there. Hi everyone, I'm editing Jenny here. I realized I forgot to show the necklace. So um, I look like a hot mess, but uh, let me just turn you around so you guys can see everything. Um, here's my vanity. It's kind of crazy looking. Hey there. Um, so here is the necklace I had on that day. This is really pretty, like, dragonfly. Kind of thing with these. I'm pretty sure those are like foam moonstone, so it's just like I'm sure glass. But I thought it was really cute. I love this necklace, so yep. And there you go. <laughs> All right, everyone. So Joanne's had some stuff. So let's go over what we saw. Um, when I got in, they have some. The um, first thing I saw was these big outdoor signs. Um, it was just one variety, but online I've seen a sneak peek of another. So I'm excited to see that one <laughs> in stores. But it was this big welcome sign um, that I think had a jack lantern on it. I know it had some spider webbing around the edges. Um, there's quite a few hanging signs. The different ones that said like, um, something about being scary. I know there was one with like a black cat. Um, is this girl even moving? Nope. Okay, darling, pay attention to the road. Um, there were, uh, a couple other different like ghost ones um, I'll just keep rolling footage of all the ones I saw there's one that was this big um, like crescent moon shape that says season of the witch I really like that one um, well obviously and, <laughs> and um, a couple other different little signs that were really cute all that stuff right now is 30% off until August 13th I believe um, so definitely I, I put a I'll show the, the little signage so you can see, but definitely keep an eye on if there's anything you're wanting to get. I feel like you could maybe wait till it goes back to normal price and then use a 40% off, but I don't know if they will. It seems like a lot of times once we hit the season, they kind of keep stuff on sale, so that way you can't use coupons on it. But definitely keep an eye out. You never know. Um, I'll keep keep showing footage, but I know they had some pillows. There were some like very kind of retro-y looking jack-o'-lanterns, um, a couple of different tabletop signs um they had then they started to get more of the crafty stuff and there were these different ceramics um one was i think a ghost that had like a big open mouth on it so it could be like a tiny candy jar um there were there was a bat one there was one that was a cauldron um I actually got that because those were all normal price and there's a 50% off coupon um, though I think at the time of posting this that may no longer be the case I think it's only good for the next like day or so I happen to notice it on the Joann's app definitely get the Joann's app if you're someone who shops there a lot it's um, the best way to get their coupons because they don't post the majority of them on their website anymore so keep that keep an eye out for those but um, there's also some like dog costumes which were really cute trying to think anything else that was super new um I don't really know I can't remember there was so much I saw um and then of course I went and got some beads because they had some really cute stuff um and the 
I found some little ghosty ones and some skulls that I thought were fun. Um, so I'm going to be making some earrings with that. Um, they had one new, oh, there's some uh, new floral. There was a garland that was like long. Well, there was a garland that was like super glittery, very branchy looking with I think either some like bats or spiders on it. Then there was a bunch of other just um, like um, regular floral for like arrangements. Um, there was also some, there was a wreath that was like a branchy wreath. Um, and there's a happy Halloween sign in the middle of it. All of that though was completely covered in glitter. So if you're an anti-glitter person, either steer away or spray it all hardcore with some hairspray before you bring it in your house. Um, so it is cute stuff. I just, I feel like that could make a mess. So use that your own, your own caution, I suppose. So let's go to, I'm gonna go to Marshall's and then I'm gonna go to Michael's. And we'll see what we can find in both of those. Okay, so uh, Marshall's actually had some new stuff. Let me see. The first thing I saw that was new is some new mugs. Um, there was like a Jack Skellington one. There was one that was like this cauldron mug. But it had like a snow globe topper. It was so, it was beautiful. But I'm just thinking like, how would you store that? Like unless you have open shelving. In which case you obviously don't have cats um <laughs> but like it was cool it was very different for sure and there were some other mugs that had like little keychains attached to them there was one that um you say which like it's a bad thing um the other one was a skull and they each had like their own little keychains attached to it which that was a different kind of thing you don't see that very often what else i did see kind of like they have it at home the like skeleton stack they had like a slightly smaller mug version of that. Um, so that was kind of cool. If you missed out at that at, at home, maybe check like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods kind of stuff. What else? I like tabletop signs, kind of the same like Ray Dunn ones. There was another pumpkin one. There was one that says like a witch lives here with her little monster monsters and one handsome, handsome devil. We get to the pillows. There was this one massive pillow um, that it was like almost like a large lumbar kind of pillow, so an accent pillow for like a couch or bed or something. But it was like you taking this route for Halloween, and it was so so cool. Like it showed you like how you would walk near the graveyard and by the haunted house, and it was really adorable. Um, and then there was a spider web pillow that was like in the shape of it. It was kind of a little bit of a wonky shape. Um, so it would definitely, I feel like, be more aesthetic than practical. <laughs> um, this like skeleton doing yoga. There was like a Ray Dawn thing that was like, I can't remember, it said like Wicked Witch or Book of Spells or something. And it had like a little um, witch hat on it. There was this iridescent pumpkin. There was a couple more pillows. There was one that was like skeletons that were ballerinas, <laughs> which I think would be super cute for a kid's room. Or if you're someone who's a dancer, like that would be a really fun way to bring in some spookiness to, to your aesthetic. That was it. There wasn't, um, like I said, there wasn't a whole, whole lot, but we're getting there, guys. I'm super happy to, to see it. Um, Michael's did not have anything new. Everything was um, exactly what it was last time so absolutely no new picks for like the wreath stuff no other new wreath stuff it was kind of interesting I'm wondering if they're having issues getting an inventory because that was like I, I think last time I went there it was like a week and a half ago um and I, I, there's nothing new since then so um hopefully that will be they'll be getting some stuff but I think I'm going to stop here today. I'm actually about to go to the store. i got to get some food. Um, and then I'll just see you guys next time I film. I think it's either going to be tomorrow where I do like a, a check-in to Old Time Pottery. Because I haven't been there in a little while. That and I might also hit some more like home goods and those kind of places. I might also go to that home we went to where I found the skeleton stuff. Just to kind of check. I feel like that and Old Time Pottery, they're going to get to a point where they're not getting any more new stuff in. It's just going to be them keeping stock of what they already have. So I may... Kind of dwindle how often I go there and hit more like home goods 
and TJ Maxx, that kind of place, and then eventually like Target. Oh my gosh. I'm really curious to see what they do this year, but we'll stop rambling and I will see you guys in a few seconds tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, July 31st, last day of July, which means, oh my gosh, August and all of the serious Halloween goodies is coming. I don't know. That's just what I'm hoping for. <laughs> you see, I lowered Oliver a little bit, so now you can see him in all his glory. Hi. Hello, all you beautiful people. It's time to hunt. <laughs> um, so today's goal, we are heading to... Um, Old Time Pottery because I want to do an update. I haven't been there maybe like a week and a half, two weeks. So I thought we'd go and see if there's anything new there. Um, then I'm going to head to at home Marshall's Home Goods TJ Maxx. So got a, quite a few places we're going to today. I'm really excited. Hopefully it's a Saturday. I don't usually go out on a Saturday. But I figured I'm going like early, like when things open. Maybe it won't be too crowded. Um, I will say also, if you notice my makeup starts to like fade away throughout the day or something, it's because I'm starting to wear masks when I go inside places. Um, my area particularly, the CDC said, um, is one of those areas where Delta is becoming quite rampant. So, um, and being someone who has a heart condition and who is also on immunosuppressants, um, I need to protect myself. So even though I'm fully vaccinated, um, I definitely got to take all the precautions I can. So if you see that, that's what well, that is. Just disregard it. Um, also, in regards to masks and stuff, I, you know, wear them uh, if you can. Uh, they definitely, I think, keep you safe. They keep everyone around you safe. Um, but I don't really want to see any political comments or anything like that. Um, that's not what this post is about. It's all about just keeping people safe and being kind to one another. So um, please, you know, no politics in the comments if it's there. I'm sorry, I'm gonna delete it just cause I don't, I don't want that kind of thing around my page. So, um, but yeah, let's uh, see what we can find at Old Time Pottery. Hopefully we find some new things. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Before we went in, I wanted to show you my jewelry today. This fun little moon necklace it's all shiny shiny and then just my regular little crystally earrings so I don't know you guys know all about my jewelry or if you don't you will certainly learn that <laughs> I have like I'll wear that tattoo necklace with or like a 90s tattoo necklace with my tree of life necklace half the time and then other time it's all sorts of fun jewelry because I'm all about it so anyway um all right let's just head inside and see what we can find All right, so the first thing we see are these little ghost monogram signs. These are really cute. So it's a fun way to, to do your last name if you wanted to add a little spooky way to it. Um, these were $9.99. Still the same kind of outdoor signs. There was a spiderweb version of the monograms. I love these, kind of minus the glitter. <laughs> um, but these were fun. Those were $12.99. Then they also had a... Uh, like a polka dot pumpkin version as well they're a little bit smaller those were really cute too there was these different witches books there's two different sizes the first size of the larger ones were $9.99 we'll come back to the smaller ones in a second this countdown I wish this was like enough for a year-round kind of thing because I would keep it up year-round $7.99 for that there's the smaller set of books. This would be a super cute way to do um, a whole little witchy setup. Those were $9.99 for that. Our little spooky branchy tree, similar to the one at home, but more woodsy looking. Jack-o'-lanterns, it does light up, $7.99 for that. Then the next thing, oh my gosh, I loved this like chandelier -y kind of looking tea light holder with a spider web and a little spider on it. This was absolutely beautiful. $14.99. I think that's going to be super popular. Here's our little pumpkin lady, a different variety than we saw earlier. $5.99 for her. There are some orange tea lights. These, I think, look at Dollar Tree. They might be cheaper than $4.99. Next things were these like old timey bottles with <laughs> these old timey kind of labels. This would be a very interesting thing to integrate into a Halloween setup. I'd be curious to see someone do it. 
These do light up. They are uh, $7.99 as well. So different. You don't see stuff like a Western kind of <laughs> Halloween. This ghost was absolutely adorable. It is ceramic, so it's pretty good quality. It lights up. I was trying to get him to turn on <laughs> $9.99 for that. But look at his derpy little smile. I absolutely love it. He's just so happy. <laughs> All right. So they have these like plastic crystal balls. I tried to turn on like four of these and <laughs> I eventually got one to work. Um, these honestly seem kind of cheap to me. But if there is really it was going to fit a theme you need, they do light up. They do make noise. So they could be a fun centerpiece for um, like a fortune teller kind of setup if you wanted it. Um, those were $14.99 for those. There's these different uh, tombstones. Um, there's two different varieties. The second one is the one I kind of looked at more because it had two different sizes. There were like these small mini ones. There was three of those and three larger ones. The set was $19.99. I would honestly just recommend going to Dollar Tree and getting theirs because um, you can paint them. They're probably of the same quality as styrofoam and it would be way cheaper. Um, here's some skulls. $4.99 for that. This thing was really interesting. It's this hanging reaper that looks like it goes over your door. $29.99 for that. The arms on it do expand up to like 10 feet. So this would be really interesting to see set up. <laughs> All right, then we have some spiders. Honestly, these are $12.99. I would get them at Target. They usually have spiders every single year. They expand, expand pretty wide, and they're usually fairly cheap, too. Some little ceramic, I don't know, jack-o'-lantern pails. $4.99. They have a little vampire smile. <laughs> then two different, like, vintage-looking ceramic uh, candy dish holders. There was one that was a jack-o'-lantern, one that was a little mummy. Then this red pumpkin. There's a jack-o'-lantern with branchy trees <laughs> holding the eyes. $12.99 for that. Super creepy. I really liked it. Next thing were uh, two new pillows that we saw. Um, one that said boo. One said if the broom fits right it. Those were $9.99 for those. I'm really excited for all the throw pillows this year. Um, next, we see this massive line of all these hanging decorations. Um, there was these bats. There were rubbery bats that were supposed to light up, but they didn't. I'll say all of these had little try me things to light them up, but none of the try me's worked. So I don't know if they disabled them or if something happened during shipping. There's skeletons for $19.99. I think they had all of these. It was like the same styles but different colors. So, again, I kept trying different buttons, but I couldn't get any to work. They had these little baby dolls, these creepy, like, possessed babies. I really like these. Um, $14.99. I, I really wish these had worked. I kind of was curious to see if it just has red eyes or what happens. Um, then you have the same one in white and red. Another skeleton. This time in black and red. Yep, still no luck there. Um, I think by the next one, I kind of just gave up because I realized it wasn't going to work. <laughs> then there was this ghost. It was almost like a mummified ghost. Uh, $12.99. This was kind of a weird design. It was creepy looking. <laughs> these little posable skeletons. I would say these were about three feet tall. $14.99. Um, like I said, you could pose them. Those were cute. I would wait for bigger ones, though. These little skeletons, these kind of things. Uh, again, Dollar Tree. Um, they have them every year. Oh, these poor little... <laughs> look at the hair. I felt so bad for these poor little creatures. All of them look so terribly rough. Um, especially these, <laughs> this, like, it clown one right next to it. These were all $4.99. Oh my god. These look kind of like a craft project gone wrong, honestly. I felt so bad for them. You could go to Dollar Tree <laughs> and get some stuff. Make these yourself, probably. Oh, poor things. Um, then there were just some, I don't know, barbarian bones. Those were kind of weird. I think at that point I was just like, 
no, no. Um, they have this creepy cloth, but more called freaky fabric. Um, they had in th three different colors there. It was two ninety nine, but again, Dollar Tree. I would get it at Dollar Tree. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to pay more if you can get it for cheaper and it's the exact same thing. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just cheap. <laughs> All right. There's this uh, massive spider on a web. I wish I could have seen this. They were just in the bags. And you couldn't actually see any of the items. So I don't actually know how good of a quality that is. Um, but yeah, there's these different bags of bones. These were $9.99. They also had some... They were almost like a voodoo kind of thing. It's like stacks of, of skulls. Oh my goodness, you guys. Didn't we find? There's so much new stuff there. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting I'm going to be putting out that much more. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to keep checking here at least once a week. Because I kind of thought maybe we were at the end of the road with them or something. But no, there were there was some new stuff. I was especially excited, I'm sure you heard in the voiceover, especially excited about that candelabra. It was so adorable. Um, and the, the white ghost, I loved that too. The one, the, the open mouth that lights up, that was just so cute. I also really like, there was like this red pumpkin that was like with these branchy little hands that was holding its eyeballs. That was very Pan's Labyrinth, kind of. Wow, Pan's Labyrinth's like this. But you know what I'm talking about. That was cool, very different. So anyway, you guys heard everything in the voiceover. So I'm gonna head to At Home now. Um, according to their website, they got some new stuff. So I'm sorry if this video is like extra long. I wasn't expecting to find so much today, but I feel like I feel like we're gonna be seeing some good. So, you know, if you, if you haven't already, grab a drink, grab a snack, because, uh, I feel like we're gonna be here a little while. So yeah, I'll see you guys at at home. <laughs> All right, everyone. So at home, surprisingly, didn't have that much more. Um, I don't know if maybe this store just hasn't really got it yet. There was a few new things. We'll go over it. So the first thing I saw were these um, placemats. There were two different varieties. There was one that was like spider web that was like. It looked like it was lacy, but it was more like a plasticky material. So, um, it wouldn't be like crazy delicate, I don't think. But, um, they had those. And then there was also these ones that were like swirls. It was like orange with little bits of black in it swirled. Um, so they had those. Then we see, um, this like headless horseman carriage. Actually, there was no horseman. It was just a, a dark carriage. Um, I believe they had those last year. So they have those. Those do light up with like, it had a red light in it. It wasn't super bright, but you could probably add some more lights, like fairy lights to it. And there was one that's more like the, the kind of farmhouse truck, but it was black. So it was like goth farmhouse. <laughs> that had um, our little Benny skeleton. Um, or actually, maybe it was Oliver. You never know. He's spotlighting as a, as a, goth Christmas tree truck driver <laughs> but there was um a like a a white Christmas tree in there or just white tree um that uh, lit up different colors they had that um what else this many like little kind of resin trees like spooky trees that light up um I think we've seen one before earlier this season but this was a slightly different design they had that and then they had um, this massive skull, like literally maybe two feet tall skull, like huge. Um, and the eyes on it light up. I can't remember how much it was. It is probably like a hundred dollars knowing at home's prices. That makes about sense to it. Oliver, you were just not paying attention. This is your season, my dude. Why don't you want to be involved in the conversation? Stop avoiding me. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and then, um, what else? There's gonna be a couple other things. I'll just keep rolling footage, but not a ton of new things at At Home. And I, the skeleton dishware, there was like maybe one piece left on that. Um, 
a lot of the stuff is definitely selling. Maybe they'll get more stock in it, but it looked kind of bare on some some of the lines of things. So I am gonna head to uh, Marshalls now. This is the same location where last time I saw the um, ghost rug. So we'll see. They didn't have a ton more than that. They had that like a few like signs. So we'll see if they've got anything else in. And yeah, I'm hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's getting warm, guys. The makeup's coming off already. Oh. Okay, so, um, inside Marshalls, I think the first thing I saw was this skeleton couple. It looks like they had just gotten married and they were on, um, a motorcycle and it said, Love Never Dies. That is super cute. If you're getting married in October, like, that would be such a special thing to have, like, at the wedding, especially if you're doing, like, spooky wedding. Um, I think that'd be super cute. Um, just a fun way to memorialize the wedding as well. Keep that out like every Halloween, every October. It'd be precious. Um, next thing we saw was, um, it was a gnome sitting on a pumpkin because you know you can't go inside and not see a gnome. Um, <laughs> then there were, there was a table that had a whole bunch of different little stuff on it. Um, some different mugs, um, different pumpkins, um, a lot of different things. Some of the stuff we had seen before, so I didn't really focus in on too many of those specifically. Um, what else? Got to more, there's a, there's a band. There's like a, a high school band. Ah! Y'all, I was, I was a band nerd. I was, oh my gosh, can you see? Can you see him? Maybe? Ah, uh, I don't know. There were some sousaphones. <laughs> That's super cool. So it's about band camp time, y'all. You know, if you were in band, you know, a summer band camp is always the best. Um, anyway, I digress. So, <laughs> there was, um, we get to see more, like, um, more pumpkins. There was a bunch of those, like, copper kind of jack-o'-lantern pails. Um, there was some that said trick-or-treat, some that had a jack-o'-lantern face. Um, a bunch of different sizes of that. There is um, some more like Ray Dunn signs. There's even like a Ray Dunn mug that I think it said like Witch's Brew on it. It was like a tumbler kind of mug. Um, we get to the pillows. There were um, a couple different ones. There was, I can't remember what the first one was, but I know the second one was this really long like body pillow that had a skeleton on it. Which would be super cute on a bed, like, just to have this, like, skeleton just posing on your bed, basically. I think that was really adorable. Um, then there were a couple different Ray Dunn ones. One that said, I think, Boo. There was also a set of Ray Dunn pillows. And one said Boo, and the other one was just a um, white and black plaid. The rugs were gone this time, so that went quickly. Oh, and then we get to, like, the dishware. There was a couple different mugs. There was... One that was, um, it had this witch on it, but it was like human witch with a hat that had a whole bunch of floral and looked like maybe a little bit of a spider web on it. I love that one. You don't really see witchy things where the witch is like not green. So that was really cute to see. Um, I may have procured that for my stash of mugs because <laughs> that was just so different to me. I never see a witch one like that. And they had another little, um, like, witch's brew one that had, like, a tiny, like, stuffed witch gnome in it. So it was, like, you get a mug and a, a stuffed gnome witch. But I think that was it for Marshall. So I'm heading to, there's this little area that's got a, a Home Goods and a TG Maxx right next to each other. So I'm going to go into both of those. And then we'll check back in. I'll let you know what we found. If you can even see me. You can see me. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna film this on my phone. Um, so it went into TJ Maxx and they still had just the one table of items. Um, there was a bunch of like different Ray Dunn little like wine tumblers, I guess you would call them. And then they had some regular like larger tumblers, but there was like a Boo, um, and one that said Witch. There's probably like uh, Drink Up Witches, all those kind of things. Um, on that table there was also a bunch of like a different dish towels, um, pumpkins, um, gnomes, 
a whole bunch of different things so I'll just make sure and, and uh, just keep showing all of that there were um, yeah I can't honestly remember so I'll just keep showing all that um, and then we went to home goods and home goods did not let me down first thing I saw when I walked in there was um, this black like ceramic pumpkin that uh, I think it said like happy Halloween on it but then it also had these like bat cutouts and the pumpkin lights up so it would light up and we would see like the silhouette of bats super super cute um, they also had a cat like it was like a cat head jack-o-lantern um, that lights up as well then there were a couple different other like um, pumpkins and uh, there was there like I think the silver one like we saw gold last week there was also a silver like pumpkin with twisty twisty stem and there was like this I can't remember what, it was like a goblin or or something but it was this green creature um, it was it looked like it was trick-or-treating um, and there were some different ghost items and then we get to there was like all the small pillows, kind of like the designs we've seen before, nothing too new. There was one that had a skull that it was like all beaded, which was really beautiful, but I would not want to sit against that because it was very rough. So that would have to be like a display piece only. They had so many blankets. I'm gonna apologize now, the footage for this area was really bad because I got so excited to finally see like a whole entire aisle of Halloween blankets. And there was one that was like, a cat but it was like a, it was, I don't know it's kind of hard to tell that it was a cat there was another one that was like a black cat with like a little skull collar and some bats and other like little spooky things on it um, there were a couple different peanuts ones so it was like Snoopy another one that it was Snoopy dressed up as a mummy um, I know there was an, a dog one um, there was an orange one that I think I can't remember what it had on it, maybe pumpkins or maybe that one had the dog characters on it. But the blankets, you guys, like, oh, I was so happy. They weren't Sherpa line, but they were still super, super soft. So um, definitely worth the money, I think. Uh, there was this one aisle, I'll just like, I'm gonna pan over it. It was so crowded in there. This is why I don't come on a weekend, especially this time of day. Um, like there was just people coming with their carts. They just kept coming. I was just like, I just want to see all the Halloween goods. So I'm just going to pan over that aisle for you guys. It's a pretty quick view of everything. There's some different pumpkins. There's some ghost stuff. Um, I know there was this like skull pillar, um, like candle holder, which was kind of cool. I think that was $12.99. I don't know that I got a view on it because again, I was trying to go quickly because I didn't want to be in anybody else's way. Um, we around the corner where there were all those plates and like um, dish um, dip cloth all gone. Different bowls stacked up, like plastic serving bowls. Um, the next little end cap, um, all those little houses, porcelain houses were gone. Um, they had um, this little uh, ceramic ghost like jar um, with the uh, hinge lid that was really, really cute. I don't know, there's a couple other new things, but not a ton. I am incredibly surprised how in the manner of like one week how much stuff has sold so i mean obviously they keep getting new stuff so that's good but it just seems like they get stuff and that sells but the new stuff isn't the same as the old stuff so this is not a place where they keep restocking the same thing so definitely like if you've never been to home goods or tj maxx Marshalls, that kind of stuff. They get stuff in, and typically once it sells, that's kind of it. Sometimes they'll get restock of it, but it's like they're always constantly getting new stuff. So if you see something like there, might be a good idea to get it if it's something that like you feel like you can't live without because it may not be there when you go back. But um, okay, I have rambled way too long. Um, I think I'm gonna finish today off. <laughs> okay, so sorry. I actually ended up going to the Bath and Body Works that I didn't realize was super close to me because I don't know this area very much, but I found it and I got this little bat visor clip for the car. I just love the little bat. It was so cute. Um, so definitely check. They didn't have them out, but I asked her, I was like, do you know if you guys have those or are you getting them in? She's like, let me go look around and they were just in the drawer underneath it. She's like, here you go. So 
definitely uh, doesn't hurt to ask if you don't see something um, you want out. Just ask them. Just be nice, but you can always ask. So um, I'm actually there's a Michael's right here. I'm gonna head and see if they have anything. Otherwise, then this will be the end of the video. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they actually have some Halloween. Here's a couple of different wreaths. This one's got a little hat in it. There's some just actual hat picks. Oh, so it's probably a wreath, and then if you wanted to put a hat pick in it, you could. A um, couple different kinds of hats. They don't have a ton of picks, but it's more than the other locations I've been to. <laughs> a little bat, or cat. More little hats. These are fun. It's like a whole spray of of hats and little twiggy things. Some spider garland, branches. Um, they got a couple little ghosties, almost like voodoo. Actually, a voodoo doll. Good lord, it's not a ghost. <laughs> voodoo doll. Um, no. Oh, this one's cool. The moon with a bat, that would be really pretty in a wreath. Um, another little witch's brew. And all of these, wait until they go on sale or until you have a really good coupon. Do not pay full price for these. I mean, they're cute, but definitely wait to use a coupon. Some little different pumpkins, orange and white striped. Hope you can hear me okay, by the way. Um, and then two little Reese. I'm going to look around see if there's anything else, but I think this is it. Um, I'm really excited. At least there's more than we've seen before. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Okay, so yes, um, Michael's, um, just the Reese stuff that I showed you. Hopefully you guys could hear me. I was trying to kind of whisper. Bath and Body Works did not have anything new other than the little back clip. Um, oh, actually, oh, I forgot to get a video. They had the little, um, there's a ghost soap holder and a ghost three wick holder. I will put some video or some uh, photos on the screen of just, you know, what I found online. They did have those. I forgot to get video of that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm getting tired. My brain is just, is stopped working. So, but yeah, that's all we have for um, this video. Thank you guys again for joining me. Um, we'll see you next week. You know, we're doing another one. Um, and yeah, hope you're doing wonderful. I'll see you guys. Bye.